This tutorial requires beginner to intermediate skills, takes about 30 minutes to prepare and uh, one hour to apply. There's a whole bunch of stuff we used out there on the right and it might be easier to do it on a face cast but you don't have to, you can make it on a flat surface as well. Let's do it! Starting with a light cover foundation in my whole face and moving on to brows. I'm using a dark brown because I'm going to put on a dark wig later, doing nice sharp lines, kind of like I usually do my brows, outlining them with a small angled brush and filling them in, trying to fade it towards the beginning of the brows. And I'm using a cream foundation to clean up lines and use it kind of like a highlighter. Using a black jumbo pen to cover my lids, this is kind of creamy so you can smudge it around. And I want more black so I'm adding some black eyeshadow. Just pack the pigments and then fade some more. Don't forget underneath the eyes and this time I'm fading with a light brown. And if fading isn't really your A-game, that's no worries. This eye makeup look is supposed to look kinda rough. Milena's got a purple shade to her eyeshadow. So I'm using some light purple and covering the top part of the black. And then I'm using a light beige to fade it out. And the fluffier and bigger eyeshadow brush, the better. The ones I'm using right now I got from eBay and they're super cheap. If you don't have a fading brush, you should get one. And back to my cream foundation and just cleaning up my face because some of the pigments got on my cheeks and everywhere. So this is just to cover up and clean up. When you're done and happy with your foundation, cover it all in powder. I'm using a translucent powder. This is just to matten everything down. A very nice and very matte. And it's on to shading. Since we're gonna put some teeth on the cheeks, we want really nice shading because the face is gonna look like a lot bigger. So, shading and making face look nice and also nose. To enhance my cheekbones even more and lift my face, I'm using a highlighter. I'm applying this to both my cheekbones, my bra bones and soon my nose. And don't forget that tip. When I'm done with all of my powder products, I'm moving back to eyes and I'm doing it in this order because I don't want all the powder pigments to get caught in my lashes. So adding a thin coat of mascara and then moving on to my fake lashes that I can't live without, carefully putting them on and finishing my eye look with a black eyeliner along my waterline and a nude lipstick on my lips. And the shout goes to this is Andy Weil. This is a super fresh Instagram account with 59 followers, but still the makeup looks really good, so we suggest you have a look and go follow. Back to the prep table and we're gonna make the teeth. I'm using Elmorph, which is a plastic that you can put in hot water and it becomes clear like this and moldable and you can make teeth and other stuff, which we're gonna do later on. And this fantastic product you can find at lmax.com. I'm doing the teeth one by one and I'm molding it against my face cost. If you don't have a face cost, that's no problem. You can do this just right on the table or some smooth surface. I am using a scissor to cut the teeth up and this is to get a nice sharp edge. If it feels like it's hard to mold, then you can just dip it back in the hot water and it will become clear and easy to work with again. Like hers, I'm making the teeth in different sizes and when you're done, you're supposed to have 16 teeth, 8 for each side. For the next step, we're gonna use Sculpt Gel. If you don't have Sculpt Gel or 3rd Degree or any other two component silicone thing, you can use latex paste, which is just latex and flour mixed together. That, however, takes longer time to dry. Adding the Sculpt Gel to my face cost and I've got some oil on my finger and this helps to smooth it out. Just try to make it into the shape that the teeth prosthetic is supposed to be. This you can do without face cost, but then it's harder to know like how big it's gonna be and how it will fit your face. And before it's dry, just push in the teeth and get them in there and smooth it out. Oh, very nice. And then just teeth, more teeth, and more teeth, and more teeth. 
it now it looks nice and you just leave it to dry I did both sides on that face cast I'm doing the lower jaw part on another face cast that I've got this is a face cast of someone else's face but that doesn't really matter because cheeks are kind of the same on every person so the same procedure do the sculpt gel put the teeth in and wait for it to dry this time we'll be using the Elmore for something new I'm gonna make the necklace that Melina has it's a necklace shaped like a ring, so that's what I'm molding with the Elymorph. If you want this to dry quicker, you just put it in some cold water. Done! We have this perfect lace that I tied around the ring. Just easy, like this. Do, 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 do. I have nothing to say here. In Swedish is do, 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 do. Jag har inget att säga här. Spraying the ring with some silver color. And while we did this, the prosthetics were done and I ripped one of them off. And then I decided that I wanted to paint them first. So starting with the teeth and with a brown color, I'm making the base kind of like dirty. The gum area around the teeth are pretty bruised and dark. So I'm using a dark purple and some black to just bruise it up using a eyeliner brush to get close to the teeth and then I'm dabbing with my finger to just fade the color and make a very dark base of the teeth I'm alternating sides to make them look the same and now I'm done before we apply the teeth we're gonna make the neck piece and I'm using watercolors to make this happen and blow dry to make it dry faster I'm using two different shades of like purple red the colors I'm using aren't that covering, so I'm doing more than one layer and then I'm using a cream brown to shade the lower part of the neck piece. A very nice, slowly and fading outwards. Something like this. Using black to create lines, so there's three lines in front and then all along the lower edge. Cutting up small pieces of the lace and then I will attach them using my lash glue. Attach them one by one and slowly. And then I'm covering them with some light cream paint and this is because Milena's little lace pieces are lighter than mine. Now for the necklace. Again, I'm just applying it with some lash glue. Now make sure it stays in place and over to the teeth. Cover your cheeks with some black and get the lash glue or whatever skin adhesive you have and attach your teeth prosthetics. Now have patience and find the perfect fit. When they're all in place, it's time for some blending. I'm using the same purple I used before and then I'm mixing it with my skin tone. And right now I'm using one of my blending brushes. I think using the blending brushes with the cream colors makes it easier to achieve a bruised look. And just going over it and over it and over it and more purple and more skin tone and a little bit dark, a little bit everything. Just trying to make it bruised and trying to blend it. When I was done, I added some cream color to the teeth just to make them a little bit more light and a little bit more yellow like her teeth. And this of course meant I had to redo some of the shading of the teeth. Just dabbing my fingers. Very nice. I like it. I hope you like it. It's wig time. Now I know Milena has short black hair, but we did not have one and I couldn't find one that looked good. So we just went with a long haired one. And I'm trying to style it in the way her hair looks and then I'm adding some more shading and we're done! There you go, another super cool makeup for Halloween. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends around the world. Also, you might want to subscribe because this is gonna be a wild ride this Halloween. And if you're hungry for knowledge, go check out my new channel, Max Knows, where I'm teaching how to edit videos, how to do cool effects, how to retouch your photos, and a lot more. Go have a look. See you next time. Goodbye.